So what are the differences between structural database and sequence database? The biological database or the bioinformatic database can be classified into many different types utilizing different point of view. But uh, the fundamental difference between structural and sequence database will be discussed here. So before that, I'm going to show you some of the uh, different point of views of differentiating databases like biological sequence database can be classified into two types, general purpose sequence database and specialized purpose sequence database. Now general purpose can be of nucleic acid sequence database and pro protein sequence database, both are sequence databases. And the special purpose one, it can be the protein sequence motif and domain type, protein structural database type, specialized genome databases, organism specific databases. So in reality, we have a structure type, sequence type and other types of database. The sequence type is possible for nucleic acids like DNA, RNA as well as for proteins. So for nucleic acids, we have GenBank, EMBL, DDBJ, all this. For proteins, we have SwissProt, PIR, Tremble, Procyte, PFAM and all this. While structural database like PDB and CATH, C-A-T-H are some examples of the databases. Now, now come to the final point of the difference between structural and sequence database the structure database versus the sequence database what we get in the structure database is that it contains protein and nucleotide sequences okay so that's uh, that's the sequence database that we get okay in the sequence database type we have uh, the protein and nucleotide sequences like ddbj embl swiss prot while in structural type of database, we have 3D information of proteins and nucleic acids. You know, nucleic acids can also form secondary structures, tertiary structures. The information of those things can be placed there. And also the 3D structure of protein, which is the vital structure of proteins for uh, as a functional unit. Uh, those information are kept in the structural databases like nucleotide database NDB and protein data bank PDB. PDB is the one that we uh, more often use, but NDB is also there, which is also very important in terms of understanding how the nucleic acid tertiary structures help them to build a, uh, a particular, uh, help them to involve with a particular set of functions in the cell. So these are the differences between structural database and sequence database.